It is time for a full power test for a long while at these uh, HP um, DPS 750 RB power supplies. I got three of them sitting over here in series connected, supplying 36.9 volt DC. I got a, a current clamp meter sitting um, on the uh, output side of a 20,000 microfarad capacitor bank that's in the middle. This will help them uh, load share a little bit, not that it's so needed with them in series as when I had six uh, power supplies in series with the laptop chargers. Now this time I also have a um, temperature uh, probe sitting in the water reservoir. That's just a uh, good half liter of uh, water sitting at 11 degrees Celsius right now. Uh, and then there is, of course, the 1800 watt Chinese uh, induction heater here. And so, yeah, I will just give it a run of at least five minutes uh, or until the water temperature gets worryingly, worryingly high. So, time to switch on the uh, induction heater. Idle current at 4 ampere. Voltage is steady. And we're already seeing a uh, temperature rising of the water, that's kind of worrying. But let's uh, introduce a load to this. So we have current climbing up steadily, 30 amps. I must say I did not expect to see the uh, water temperature rise with almost a full degree so soon. The piping is not showing any visible signs of uh, heating now, but current has climbed up to 37 amps. Voltage has uh, downed a little bit, half an volt or so. I'm saying that there's a slight difference uh, from the 4 volt difference from the laptop charges um, to, uh, to this. So as we can see, we have maybe some 200 watts less power due to the lower voltage, as the current does not climb as high either. As the ZVS uh, heater usually works by uh, the more voltage you can push in it, it will just eat all the current it can get. So we can see the as the heat pipes up, uh, the, the pipe heats up now, we can see the current dropping down again. So we had just a, a, a roughly 40 ampere peak and now it's falling back to around 30 again. Water temperature up by 3 degrees so far, but we can just move the load in a bit. Stress it a bit more, getting back up around 40 amps. But this is still only around uh, two-thirds of what these server power supplies can handle, so I don't see any stress on those. Okay, so 41.5, that's about as high as I have been so far. Let's see if we can force it up further. Not quite. We are almost three minutes into the run now. Just trying to move the load uh, in and out slowly now to uh, get a even bigger piece of iron heated up at once. I really hope the flickering of the red hot iron here is uh, visible on the on the video. I noticed that on the first stress test, this uh, was not as uh, apparent on video as it is in real life. It really has a nice uh, a nice glowing flickering to it. I must say, so far there has been no hiccups, nothing uh, unusual. Just shy of 42 amps. There we have it, 42, and then going down again.
see if with a little moving action it is able to heat up some uh, some more. So water temperature up a good 7 degrees Celsius by now. And we are almost 5 minutes into uh, the test now. So the only thing that really worries me about the Okay. But it sounded like there was a change in um, fan noise from somewhere, but I... I don't see what it should have been. If it was the server supplies uh, going down at fan speed, ah, now the current meter, of course, cuts out in the middle of everything. I want to see maximum stress on this, but unfortunately, I think. I will need a power supply that is just slightly higher voltage. So I'm not sure if I can push it to 48 volts with uh, four of these power supplies in series. That is maybe pushing it. I'll have to double check with the uh, MOSFETs uh, for their voltage rating. Because uh, it is well known that with these uh, ZVS um, or raw induction heaters, um, the uh, tank voltage that the MOSFET sees is pi times larger than the supply voltage, so roughly 3.14 times higher. So there will also have to be left some uh, headroom for, uh, for switching spikes and such to not punch through the substrate. So 48 volts might be pushing it close against the, I guess it's a 200 volt rated MOSFET sitting in it. But we are closing in at 7 minutes runtime now. Water temperature up by 11 degrees Celsius. Now I wish I really had a uh, infrared uh, temperature gauge so I could uh, check the uh, res resonant capacitor um, temperature now. Yeah. I don't know if you could hear that, but it is the fans of the um, of the induction heater that uh, goes up and down in speed. I'm not sure if it's the f just the fan controller um, acting up a bit weird, because uh, temper uh, voltage supply is certainly stable. I do also wish that I had another piece of test iron than uh, just this uh, pipe. Something with a bit more mass uh, could have been good. But unfortunately I do not have anything at hand right now, so I will be sure to uh, fetch something the next time I'm at the, at the scrapyard. At least just for testing purposes. So, are we seeing some good? I can also feel it in the uh, vise by now that it's also starting to uh, heat up a bit from just a uh, yeah, heat sink effect from the uh, pipe being connected tightly to it. Yeah, but other than that I don't think uh, I can drag this on uh, much further. It was a good 10 minute run. Here you see the final values, 25 degrees Celsius water. So it's a successful test. Awesome. Temperature check time. So MOSFETs. Actually cooler to the hand than, than the 5 minute run. And uh, resonant capacitors are also uh, colder than my fingers. So 
that's uh, actually quite good. Mm, water's lukewarm, but yeah, we knew that it's 40, um, 25 deg degrees. However, the server power supplies, those are uh, warm to the touch, so they did uh, get a little load, but with the power density you have in these packs, that's certainly expected. So, thank you for watching, um, and yeah, I think these uh, Chinese uh, induction heaters are actually pretty well built. If you treat them well with some good uh, air cooling and water cooling, I, don't, I think you can push these uh, pretty far. So, thanks for watching.